morning, morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'll be reading Psalm 61. Hear my cry, O God, attend unto my prayer. From the ends of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Mm. Thou has been a shoulder for me, and a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the covenant of thy wing, Selah. For thou, O God, hast heard my vows. Thou hast given me the heritage of those that fear thy name. Thou wilt prolong, thou wilt prolong the king's life and his years and his many generations. He shall abide before God forever. Over prayer, mercy, and truth, which may preserve him. So will I sing praises unto thy name forever, that I may daily be born thy vows. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, Pastor got one coming. Oh, give God a praise for the word. Glory. Glory. Amen. Glory. Praise God. God is good. Yes, he is. Amen. Yes, he is. He is still on his throne. Yes, sir. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Yes, sir. Which means that he still in control. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Yes, sir. Thank God for the snow. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Amen. God knows what he's doing now. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank God for the snow. Come down to water the earth. Amen. Yes. That's the word of God. Mm. Yes. Sir. Amen. Mm. Would you turn your Bibles to the book of Galatians? Amen. After you find Galatians chapter 6, we're going to pray. Amen. Never get enough of prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. Galatians chapter 6. Amen. Father, we come this morning in the name of Jesus. Lord, we do come with thanksgivings in our hearts. Yes. We don't take anything for granted, Lord. We thank you for your blessings. Yes. Every good and perfect gift yes. coming down from above. Yes. And we thank you, God. Thank you. thank you for your gifts, your gift of life. Thank you for your breath. Yes. We breathe yes, to keep on living. Lord, we thank you yes, for years to hear. Yes. Nose to smell, yes. okay. tongue to taste. Yes. Thank, you. thank you. Hey, thank you. Thank you for water to drink. Thank you for food to eat. Yes. We praise your name, God. We thank you for being here with us this morning. Hey, any ill spirits that shouldn't be here, God, drive it out in the name of Jesus. Have your way. Let your Holy Spirit. Flow freely yes, sir. where the Spirit of the Lord is. Yes, That's freedom. Yes, yes. That's liberty. Right. And so, God, we thank you for the presence of your Spirit this morning. Now, have your way, Lord. Yes, have your way yes, in this prayer room. Mm. Have your way. Mm. Let your will be done. Yes, Let your word go forth Lord. that it will not return to you void. We thank you for your word. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Look with me at the Galatians, at the book of Galatians. Chapter 6. Amen. Read it for your considerations, beginning at verse 1. Amen. God is not absent, church. He's here with us. Amen. 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 
Galatians chapter 6, verse 1. The word of the Lord says, Brethren, if a man is overtaken in a fault or in a trespass, you who are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness or in the spirit of gentleness. Mm -hmm. He says, considering yourself. Note that word, considering. We're going to deal with that. Considering yourself, lest you also be tempted. Amen. Amen. Considering yourself, lest you be also tempted and fall with the same weakness. Verse 2. Bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. What is the law of Christ? That we love one another as Christ has loved us. Amen. 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 Bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if anyone thinks himself to be something, whoa, when he is nothing, he deceives himself. I better read that again. For if anyone thinks himself or herself to be something, when he or she is nothing, he deceives himself. But let each one examine his own work. Ooh. And then he will have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. Mm. Verse 5, for each one shall bear his own burden, his own load. Amen. Amen. For each one shall carry his own load mm. of responsibility. Verse 6, let him who is taught in the word share in all good things with him who teaches. Amen. Amen. Gifts to the one who teaches us. Let him who is taught in the word share in all good things with him who teaches. Do not be deceived. Y'all see that? Amen. Do not be deceived. God is not what? Mark. Mark. But whatever man sows, mm -hmm. that he will also reap. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. For he who sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. But he who sows to the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, will of the Spirit reap everlasting life. Mm -hmm. And let us not grow weary. Let us not get tired, church of doing God's work. Right. And let us not grow weary while doing good. Amen. Amen. For in due season, y'all see that? Yes. For in due season, yeah. we shall reap if we do not lose heart, if we don't faint. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all, especially to those who are of the household of faith. Mm -hmm. So it is in the readings of God's word. I just want to talk from the thought, the theme, except for the grace of God, there go I. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, y'all. That's a true saying. And I think all of us need to say that sometime in our lives when we see others Struggling with their weakness. Amen. Accept church for the grace of God. There go I. Amen. Come on, repeat it with me. Accept for the grace of God. There go I. Amen. When I see that brother or that sister struggling with their weaknesses, with their weaknesses, I don't judge. Amen. Amen. But I pray for them. That's right. Amen. Because except for the grace of God, it could have been me. That's right. Y'all don't hear me. That's right. Yeah, it, it could have been me. Amen. Amen. And so God says, 
Don't judge the world. He judged him. Matthew chapter 7, verses 1 through 5. Let us not judge one another. Turn your Bibles to Matthew chapter 5. Amen. Don't forget about Brethren, if a man is overtaken in a fault, amen, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness. Look at Matthew Gospel, chapter 5. Amen. I tell you, let's go to Matthew Gospel, chapter 7. Amen. Look at chapter 7. Verse 1 tells us something. You have that? Amen. Judge not that you be what? Not, not judged. Ooh. Y'all see, I know you see that. Amen. Judge not that you be not judged. For with what judgment you judge, you will be judged. Jesus is talking. That's why. And with the measure you use, that same measure, you used to judge. Jesus said, it will be what? Measured back to you. Great day in the morning. Mm. It will be measured back to you. And why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye? <laughs> but do not consider, that word is considered, but do not consider the plank in your own eye. Come on, church. Mm -hmm. You know Jesus is teaching here. That's right. Or what he says, or how then you say to your brother. How, did, how can you say to your brother, let me remove the speck from your eye and look a plank or a two by four is in your own eye. Amen. Amen. Dead in the morning. Jesus said, hypocrite. I didn't say it, he said it. Hypocrite, he said, first remove the plate from your eye, your own eye, and then you will see what? Clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. That's right, that's right. And then he gives us one more point in that text. He says, do not give what is holy to the dogs nor cast your pearls before swine, lest they trample under their feet, their feet, and then tear you to pieces. In other words, don't give that what is holy, the word of God, or even your witness to those that don't want to hear you, those that don't want God, those that don't want the church. He says they would turn on you and tell you to pieces. Yeah. Because what is holy, this word is sacred. Yeah. Come on, give God a praise. It's sacred, God. And when we share it with others, let us remember that it's sacred. Mm -hmm. Going back to Galatians chapter 6. Brethren, sisters, if a man is overtaken in any fault, any trespass, you who are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of gentleness. You who are spiritual, considering yourself, lest you also be tempted. Hebrews 12 and 1 says, lay aside every weight. That weight is a fault. Lay aside every weight that hinders your growth. Amen. And the sin that so easily besets you. Lay it aside. And looking at this text here, verse 1, he's using the word overtaken. The word overtaken, it means found out, detected. Somebody has seen that individual doing whatever. In other words, the spotlight is on them. They were found out, they were detected. Don't go run and tell somebody. Go to God and pray for them. And you who are spiritual, have a mind to do what? Restore them. Mm -hmm. Amen. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. Amen. Amen. Overtaken. Found out. Detected. 
And then he used another word, you who are spiritual. That word spiritual is dealing with mature in the faith. Those that are mature in the faith. And then he says, restore such a one. It means to bring back in their rightful place in Christ and in grace. Bring them back to their rightful place. That should be our only thought. Not to judge. But that should be our only thought is to restore that individual back to Christ. Come on, give God a praise, church. Amen. Mighty quiet. Then I like this word, consider. Consider thyself. This word, it means in one's mindset. Do not exalt yourself as being above the same fall. Uh -huh. Oh. Let me read it again. Considering thyself in one's mindset, do not exalt yourself as being above the same ball because that very thing can happen to you. Amen. Amen. Turn your Bibles to 1 Corinthians chapter 10. I'm getting ready to close it out. Amen. 1 Corinthians Chapter 10. Two verses there we want to look at. Considering thyself, lest we also be tempted with the same fault. 1 Corinthians 10 and 12, Paul says, Therefore, let him who thinks he stands do what? Take heed lest he fall. Whew. Amen. I didn't say this. The word said it. Therefore, let him who thinks he stands take heed lest he fall. Verse 3, verse 13. No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to man. But God is faithful. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. God is faithful. Yeah. Not sometimes, but all times. God is faithful, yes. who will not allow you, who will not suffer you to be tempted beyond what you are able to bear. Yeah. Amen. But with the same temptation, yeah. <laughs> with the temptation, yes, sir. will also make the way of escape yes. that you may be able to bear it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to give God a praise. Yeah. I tell you, God is faithful. He said, I will never leave thee. Yes, sir. I'm holding to his word. Amen. I will never leave thee. Yes, sir. Hey, and I honor that word. Amen. Yes, sir. I think about that word all the time. Yes, when I'm lonely, when I'm having troubles in my life, yes. problems in my life, yes. I said to myself, God said he would never leave me, yes. nor forsake me. Yes. Come on, give God some praise. Yes, sir. Last but not least, in order for one to think about the needs of others, there has to be a genuine, unconditional love in his heart. Amen. Romans 5, verse 5, says that the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, has poured into our hearts the love of God. Hey, thank God for the Holy Ghost. He has poured into our heart the love of God. So we have the love of God in our heart. That's right. Church, let's not judge, but let's pray. Yes. And let's restore yes. them back to the church. Amen? Amen. God bless you. Amen.
Because the Bible said God so loved the what? The world. The world. And he did something about it. Mm -hmm. So God is still in the business mm -hmm. of flipping the world upside down. Yeah. Yeah. But he's going to use us right. as flippers. Amen. Come on. He's going to use us. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you again, because I know you forgot last Sunday. And in four months, and I'm bragging, I'll be 86 years old. Praise God. Lord. Boy, that's, that's a good thing. And see, God is keeping me healthy for you. Amen. God is keeping me healthy so I can help my wife. Amen. Because the scripture said, love ye, help ye Amen. one another. Amen. And if you do that, you're showing the goodness Amen. of God. I'm going to take a subject, the wake of the Holy Ghost, and I'm going to start at St. John 14. St. John 14. <coughs> the work of of the Maha, of the Holy Ghost. <clears throat> now see, we have to take the Bible at face value. Here's what he told the church. Choose you, not yesterday, not tomorrow. Choose you right now who you will serve. Amen. He didn't say choose who somebody else served. He didn't say faith be faithful because somebody else is faithful. Right. Down inside, my grandma used to tell me, boy, you got your own road to hold. Yeah. Well, see, if you don't know I'm down inside, you, you, know, the, you, you, got the, you got to hold your own road. <laughs> the Bible says you got to run your own work. Right. You got to serve your own. God, you, you, got to, you got to be a picture of God. I didn't say your mouth had to be a picture. Amen. Let your light so shine. Yes. That men will see your, what? Good works and do what? Glorify God. That's what we're here for. Amen. And I said, go ahead and call it out of here. That's what we're here for. We don't have just one preacher. Everybody in our choir Lord. are preachers. Amen. Or they couldn't sing under the anointing of the Holy Ghost like they do. Amen. And if they have ten in them, they'll sing. If they have five, they'll sing. Today I think they had three, they'll sing. Tomorrow they don't have two, they'll sing. Next Sunday, they don't have a one, they'll sing. Because the scripture got them covered. Cover. You be faithful. Oh, yeah. Amen. Hey. This, you know them relay racing while everybody run, you know? Look at here. This ain't like that. You know that turtle that outran that rabbit? Now you know that ain't real. Amen. But the rabbit was messing around and running ring around that turtle. The turtle said, okay. The race is not given to them. <laughs> the swift of the strong with those that what? Endure. So the old child just kept on going. Rabbi, you, 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 running around, just kept on going. Just kept on going. You must run your own race. Yes. And God is so personal, He will guide your steps. Amen. He will help you to forgive those that are cursing you, lying on you, backbiting you. Because that is the work of the Holy Spirit. Forgive those that despitefully use you, that you might be called the children of what? God. The children of God endure the cross. They, they don't drag it. They pick it up. That's right. I just got a phone call a minute ago. 
Pastor, they put your wife back in intensive care. You wouldn't know that if I didn't tell you. Wherever that Holy Ghost woman is, uh, she is the vessel of God. Uh -huh. And my Heavenly Father will take good care yes. of her. Amen. Not because she belonged to me, because she belonged to him. To him. Amen. She is my wife. She's God's bride. Yes. Amen. And we need to spread this over the people that is dogging us and daring us and mistreating us. And look at these, it's right in the book. God so loved what? The world. That's what the world do. They dog you. They lie on you. They backbite you. They say evil things about you. And God said, okay, yeah, they do that, but love them. Now that's a hill to climb. When you ain't sweetly say, I'm telling you, my God is able. Yes, he is. I'm going to tell you again. Yes. Our God All right, now. is able. Good God. See, you got two words. Enjoy and endure. If you don't endure the pressures of life, you can't enjoy the goodness of God. Because God don't stop being good just because people are expressing him. He's there. So I have learned, Brother Wheeler, lay your head on God's bosom. Uh -huh. then, then, then tell me what Brother Blackman just got through telling me. He said, I will never. And I must say, Jamie, he, I will never leave you, nor forsake you, even to the end of the world. So the, hold God to his promise. What is it called? Walking by faith. God said it, I'm doing it. He got to fulfill his word. When your father and your mother forsake you, it's in his book here. God said, I take you up. Mm. You know I got all this education, these doctor degrees. Now look at your man. You can study till you get cross-eyed. You ain't gonna make God a lie. No matter what God is, what he is, he will do what he said, he will build to you whatever you need him to be. Look at that word, in spite of. Now, the joy. Hmm. <laughs> I said to you, hey, we miss it. You want to be delivered, you better get you some joy. Hmm. Now, if you got to get joy, you ain't got none. Hmm. When you ain't got none, you ain't got no God, for the joy of the Lord is your hmm. strength. So if you weep, you ain't got no joy. Amen. So what does God come to? He come to the soul of man to put the Lord Jesus in there. You see these tears here? These tears of joy. My wife having to go to intensive care, I ain't got nothing to do with these tears. Mm -hmm. When I went to bed last night, I wrapped a good prayer around my wife. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> Look, and God will hear your prayer. Yes, he will. And your prayer must look just like your life. Yes. If you want to pray a prayer of faith, you got to have a faithful life. Amen. If you want God to deal for you, you got to do the same thing for somebody else that you expect for God to do for you. If you want God to forgive you, You don't have to have forgiveness. You have to have the spirit. See, forgiveness is an almost city. Forgiveness is a spirit. Amen. And, and, and see, a forgiven spirit is not a sad spirit. Amen. 
There is a sad spirit. There's a joyful spirit. There's a weak spirit. There's a powerful spirit. There's a godly spirit. There's a holy spirit. So there's all kinds of spirit. What spirit are you going to have? Amen. Are you going to let circumstances, situation, she said, he said, they said, I don't believe what they said. Are you going to let the hear say, cancel what God said? I will never leave you. Period. Amen. No matter what happened. Look at John. In John 14. This is not a request. This is a New Testament commandment. Let not your heart. What's the next two words? Be troubled. Be troubled. That ain't no request. So if God said, don't let your heart be troubled, what is the work of the devil? To trouble what? Your heart. Cancel it by faith. Amen. I can do all things through Christ that work. Strength is saying and then do it. I came in here this morning, like in 30 cents of having a quarter. I just showed Paul and Paulette $450 that you were giving me before I started teaching. It ain't in the crowd. It had to do with the crowd. If you love God, you can hold to it. My God shall supply what? Oh. You see this heat in here? They didn't come fix that funnies for nothing. I got $1,400 in Travis funnies. Do you know what it was? A piece of asbestos tape that they put over the sun and giving out too much heat. And when that furnace there see that heat, it cuts off. Right. Amen. It called me sent up. <laughs> I got fourteen hundred dollars in another car. They're trying to look for what caused me for suffering. Well, Amen. That's right. Paul let them introduce that man to me. Amen. I tried to pay him, he said no. I'm gonna tell you something, don't you get mad? I'm blessed. Amen. I am blessed. Amen. And God said, what I do for one, I do for all. That's right. Put both of your hands in there. You got one on both sides. Think come up. Come on. God is on my side. God is on my side. Satan, Satan. back off of me. Back off of me. Now. Now. Now close it up. If the devil go on such a head. Come on. <laughs> come on. Yeah. We got the victory. Hallelujah. We didn't just get it when we got born again. We was born with it. That's right. Because the Lord said, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. Amen. Amen. Yes, indeed. All those problems we have, God knew that before you got here. That's right. So what did he say? Cast all your what? Care. Care for me. What? I care for you. Don't let nobody make that an hour. So I got a phone call in one year. Wife went to intensive care. You gonna preach this morning? I said to myself, don't say nothing. That's right. Just because you're a bachelor, don't say nothing. That's right. This Bible said, be ye faithful. Yes. Period. Mm -hmm. And the other end, until death. Yeah. I ain't dead yet. I'm called, mm. I'm anointed. I'm ordained to preach nothing but what? The Word. The Word. Look at St. John 14. That word, let us command it. Let not your heart be troubled. What's going to alleviate the trouble in your heart? You believe in God. So believe in me, Jesus said, and your heart won't be what? Trouble. trouble. Faith alleviates trouble. Amen. Give God a big hand for something. Think like you know what I'm talking about. Faith destroys all problems. Amen. Problems can't come in on faith. Amen. Faith.
think goes in the problem. And that devil had to pack a suitcase and go, oh, you got power, they got power. Yes. Well, I got power and I'm always praying for you. That's right. And, and because of your pastor, I know you got a bunch of children. You know what children mean? <laughs> so I pray for your children and your children, children, children. That's right. Then I start praying for my children. Amen. And my children. Children, I make known the good deeds of the Lord among the people. Amen. You are here this morning only by the grace of God. Thank you, Amen. The grace of God brought you here. Amen. Don't deny God's goodness. Let me tell you something. I know you ain't never heard it before because I ain't never told you. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody good enough. Be called a child of God. Amen. But Jesus told his disciples, I, I, I won't no more call you servants. Because mm -hmm. the servant don't know the deeds of the master. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna call you children. My sons, my daughters, my friend. And a friend was sick. Mm -hmm. I'm living this stuff. Amen. Amen. I ain't thinking about going to no hospital. God is at the hospital. Amen. Amen. Live this word. Look at me now. Open your eyes up to where I am. Now look at it again. Cast all your cares. Mm -hmm. Hold up. Yeah. Upon him. Mm -hmm. He cares for you. Yeah. Can't nobody make that no lie. That's right. When we well, when I was out there a fool, he loved me then. Mm -hmm. That's right. He, don't hold on such a Amen. he loved me then in spite of what I was doing. Amen. He loved me now in spite of what I'm not doing. That's right. Amen. Nobody is worthy of God. Amen. Amen. So you got that word, grace. <laughs> and you got a word that precedes grace only. 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 Yes, sir. By the grace of God. I'm going to tell you again, I ain't close to $1,400 in that furnace. He is a man spent his own money, $7. <laughs> Now, $1,400 is a whole lot more than seven. Oh, amen. And I tried to play the man. This is a sweet sound here. That's all right, real. Now, I ain't going to tell you to try to be a pastor. Don't you try. Amen. If you ain't called, leave that alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Yes. But I'm sitting in a position. And my heart and my mouth and my arms are open. Lord, bless me now. Yes, Do it for your glory. Yes. And he will too. Yes, sir. Y'all yes, yes. gave me $500 before we even got to the pulpit. Yes, sir. Glory. What y'all getting quiet for? I, mean, I didn't say you did it. I said y'all did it. <laughs> so if you ain't got but five dollars, that's all right. Give me fifty percent. Go on home. Amen. God demands when it comes to tithes only ten percent. Yes, but you got tithes and offering it, free will offering it, love offering it. You, you got all them offering on top of that tithes. Tithes is a gotta do. You got to pay that tithes. Right. You want it hell. You got to do that. Will a man rob God? Mm. Oh. Malachi 3 said it. You rob me. He said, how we rob you? He's all right, I'll tell you. In tithes and in what? Oh. Teach it right, saints. That's the eighth verse. 
from Malachi 3, 1 through 7. He's telling you all the good things that God has done. He saved your children. He healed your body. He yes. moved that headache. He stopped that stomach ache. He made them eyes see. He made that heart love. And all that stuff. Then he said, now, pay your tithes. Yes. You ain't buying that goodness. Yes. Do you know what the tithes is for? The people in the ministry that don't have no money. That's what the tithes are. If you studied real good, 1 Corinthians and 2 Corinthians, that full two books is talking about taking an offering, but it don't sound like it. And Paul said, you had a heart a year ago, but you didn't have an opportunity because I wasn't there to receive it. Yeah. I'm sending these other apostles to you and give to them and they'll bring it to me. Mm -hmm. But let all things be done. Please. Yes, sir. You got to do it with joy, man. That's right. Amen. You got to do it with joy. Amen. See, I, I don't boast so much of what I put in this ministry. That's my job. I'm supposed to do that. But when you come as the blessing of the ministry, my responsibility is to make known the good deeds of the Lord to the people. Amen. You bless this ministry. The ministry bless you. You. Amen. So expect a return on whatever you put in that offering plate if your heart is right. That's right. Amen. God is not for sale, church. Amen. Hey, God Amen. is not for sale. Amen. When I first got saved, I was the biggest tither in my road church of God. I had no money. Every time they brought the offering plate before me, I put my hand in there like that because that's all I had. That's right. Within three months. I was the biggest tither in the church because God gave me a job at your boss. Amen. And God gave it, and I didn't want the God to take it. Amen. I, I don't know how come I get on this, but you, you, you know, when you put an offering in God's offering, Jesus looked down there. And he see it. So, you know this Bible, for instance, this, this woman didn't have but just a few little pennies. <clears throat> and the rich folks said, God was looking at the offering, you see, looking at the rich folks, and they're giving all that money. And this poor widow, mm -hmm. you know, a mite ain't a whole lot of money. Amen. Mm -hmm. She put one little mite in there. Jesus took that little mind and said, you see that? This poor widow put more offering in the offering plate than all of you put together. Right. What was he measuring? She gave it all, so she had nothing left. <clears throat> I ain't taking no offering. I ain't raising no money. Don't have to do that. I'm lifting up the benefit of overall obedience. Amen. If you see somebody stuck in the snow, now you women be careful with that. Don't you don't do that. You men help them. Mm -hmm. well, are you that? Amen. You paying tithes. Amen. Amen. You doing for them what you want God what to do, do for you. you. And as a man thinking, it's all work. So we see God will bless you for blessing somebody. They might not be worthy of it. They got sneak ties and just spent their money on the numbers. Yes. But are they stuck? Yes. Do you need to help them? Yes. Will God be pleased? Yes. Glory. Amen. 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 Come on, Amen. Amen. Look what he's saying now. It's called doing the work of Christ. When we were nothing, well, I say I. That's right. I was nothing. Amen. I like 30 cents a half of a quarter. Came in with B.B. King and Little Richard and Barbara Bland and all them kind of folks. And I told them, look at here. I'm making all the music. And you're making all the money. I said, something wrong with that. <laughs> so they came to Flint in 1952. You know, it used to snow in Flint. Don't snow now. 
<clears throat> I went into General Motors. I had snow tires with cleats on them, with chains on them, just to go to work. I want to tell you. Faith, help me with it. Faithfulness, what? Because you get it done. Yeah. Get it yeah. done and then that will go. Get it done. Nice it don't feel good. It's going to cost you, but you got to get it done. You see that hill. You got this cross. And living holy is up the hill in the name of Jesus. Yeah. That's right. yes. And if you don't feel no weight, you ain't saved. Yes. You're lost as a slew foot mosquito. Mm -hmm. If the devil ain't trying to dog you, right. you ain't saved. He got you. But when you got the love of God in your heart, and you get love commandments from God, Amen. intellectually, it never feels good when God say give. Amen. Ain't nobody that saying. Amen. It's called sacrifice. Yes. Look, yes. look, when you keep giving and give because it pleased God, it will come to a spirit of pleasing you. I do what God tell me to do, not because I want it, but because I love God. Amen. And somebody wrote a song, you can't beat God giving. Amen. No matter. <laughs> but I give a run for the money, though. <laughs> I'm just telling you from the position of a pastor. In my credit account at the credit union, you know how much I got in there now? Just enough money so they won't close the account. Amen. Five dollars. But look what you gave the church this morning. Five hundred. That's going to pay that crooked man for 50 that foot. Still wasn't running right. The man told me $7. I said, hush your mouth. <laughs> I said, hush your mouth, sir. Mm -hmm. Listen to me. You talk like I talk. God is good to me. Amen. Do you hear me? Amen. God is mucho bueno to me. Amen. He's mouth of his front door. He's good to me. Yes, sir. I'll tell you again, you should have forgot in four months, I'll be 86 years old. I'm just as healthy as you are. Look, look, that ain't because I'm living right. It's because I'm holding God to his promise. He said, with long life. Did he say? Did he say? Well, I already got a long life, I'm 85. With long life would I satisfy you and show you. <laughs> God said, if you live right, I'll show you my salvation. Yes, they didn't bother. They called me to tell my wife, said my wife had gone to intensive care. My daughter did. I ain't going to go out there and raise hell. I'm just going to pray for them. Mm -hmm. This scripture is real. Love those that hate you. Mm -hmm. If you don't, you ain't getting to heaven. Amen. And Jesus gave us a good example. He said, they're crucified me because they don't know who I am. Yeah. If you don't know who God is, you got a problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, 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 even that, his grace covers you. Amen. That one that's acting all crazy, doing all the stuff now that we used to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, y'all been saved all the time. I mean, doing all that stuff that I used to do. Right. <laughs> Here's the one that done wrong. Here's the one that done right. 
God don't love who love one more than he do the other. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. This book said also. That's what it says. All souls are mine. But the soul that sin mm. shall surely die. Amen. Now, if you got enough life left to confess, this will be the day to do it. Because mm -hmm. those books also say you don't know what tomorrow will bring. Right. So if you're stuck in the mud now, don't, don't say I'm going to get out tomorrow. The mud going to get harder tomorrow. You're going to get stucker. <laughs> That's right. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Amen. Lord has made. Yes. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. Yes. And I'll be glad in it. Yes. I'll be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. How come? Yes. Oh, this yes. is the day. Yes. This is the day yes. that the Lord has made. Yes. The scripture said, the day you hear my voice. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Hard not your heart is uh -huh. the day mm. of tribulation when they reject me and had to spend 40 years on the desert and only two of them out of the million. Down God is worse than taking a big sharp butcher knife and cutting your throat. Mm -hmm. You do that, only go body gonna die. But if you sin, the wages of sin is death. So mm -hmm. the preacher is supposed to teach. This is the day of salvation. Repent. Here's a statement God told me. Lay sin down. Help me with it. Put your back to it. What? Walk away. Walk away. That's what we spoke to be preaching. Not emotion. A map to glory. An invitation to salvation. Amen. Holiness in the name of Jesus. There ain't no other name, nowhere, no kind of way that can save your soul other than the name of Jesus. Not that another language, it might be different Jesus or somebody else, but it's still Jesus. And you will know it's Jesus because he's the only son of God. We are adopted children. Yes. But now here, when you adopt a child, he comes into your inheritance. So when you make out your will, because he's your adopted child and got your name, he's a part of your family. Your family. Amen. Well, are we not the children of Amen. God? Amen. Do we have the right to inherit everything in the earth in the name of God? Amen. See, we share these things. But Father just showed me some things. God moved two hundred fifty dollars. God moved. God done. He'll do this for everybody. But you got to tell it. Make known. Hey! Man, you got to tell it, man. Make known the good deeds of the Lord. Well, among the people. Tell the people. God showed been good to me. You see, you see how I can see. You see how I can walk. I can tell the people how good God is. He got me out of this mess. He got me out of that mess. He kept me out of this. He saved my soul. He sanctified my spirit. He healed my body. You can go on and on and on about how good. How good. How good God is. Now let me tell you something. Don't think God is good to you because you're good. Mm. Ain't nobody that good. That's right. Amen. Okay. Even Jesus said that that glory go to my Father. Why do you call me good master? Mm. None is good, but my Father said to him, hey, how come? He projecting the day he gonna take on to my sin. Amen. So he professed. Why are you calling me good? Nobody's good but my father. Glory. Glory. So the preacher get up and said, 
God is good and that my soul know what right mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. You have to have an experience of the goodness of God. Look now, look now. Let not your heart be troubled. Now your heart ain't your mind. And you can put your mind on something that will give your heart trouble. Mm -hmm. Yes. That child that you've been praying for all these years. Can I just teach you real stuff? Mm -hmm. You going on the fast ain't gonna help save your son. Amen. All right. All right. It ain't gonna save you. Right. Teach. Teach. <laughs> Teach. 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 Only by the <laughs> you need to let this book be simple. Only mean there ain't no other way. Amen. Only by the grace of God. Sometimes we need to get into the study of this grace. It's something that we ain't never been worthy of, ain't worthy of, and never will be worthy of. Mm -hmm. The grace of God is the goodness of God in a soul that's not worthy of it. Right. Now you can't find that in Webster. Oh. He give you a whole lot of words and a whole lot of good stuff and all that kind of stuff, but let me tell you something. When you start talking about grace, it's so big, and if you are sweetly saved, if you keep, if you just keep on saying the word grace, 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 you can't, you can't keep on saying it quietly. Grace, grace. This whole book here is nothing but grace. Because God is gracious. In Genesis 1 and 1, say in the beginning, God. The New Testament said, the word is God. So only by God, I'm good. No goodness of my own. I ain't saying I'm a sinner. Grace covers sin when you repent it. When you confess it. But you can't use grace to cover your sin that you're not willing to repent of. Amen. So this person that committed suicide because his wife won't love him, you, you just sent yourself to hell. Wow. You know committing suicide is a sin that you can't repent. Once you're dead, you're done. When you cook a food, nothing you 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 got you think it you you better take it out. Let if I don't get no further than this, let not your heart be troubled. Now your heart is your spirit. Your heart is your inner man. Your heart is a living place of the Holy Spirit yeah. once you confess the Lord Jesus. He comes into your heart and he controls all of you from your heart. I saw them big old jets, you know, and up there where the pilots are, they got all them things, you press them, press them, and they control that great big old plane with them little small things like that. They, have you ever seen mercy? You've seen it in action. Yeah. Have you ever seen grace? No. Now let me bring it closer to you. Have you ever seen Al? No. No. But do you ever try to breathe when there wasn't no Al? Yeah. So sometimes if everything you can't see gives you life. Yeah. You can't see faith. But you know when you got it. See, faith is the waking hand of grace. Mm. Grace is the immeasurability of God. Grace is big. And God so loved not just America, not the earth. St. John 3.16 said God so loved the world. Not just the earth, the world. That he gave his only, son. his only father's son. But look at the condition. 
that whosoever You got to call on them. Amen. I just come out of work the other day. I used to play band in the middle club and stuff. And they have a pool table and they, they play dice on it sometimes. They, they take the dice. What? What they got to do with it? But they do. Come sit. And you get a dice with one dot, another one with another dot. That ain't said. So the words, I've learned that because I've been around the club, see? Seven and 11 will win. Do you know those are uneven numbers? This is why we must have the information that is available in the world. You got to know where Chevrolet is to go to work. Amen. Because yeah. I, I, I went there almost 30 years, and if you don't go to work, they ain't going to pay you. Right. You can't tell them I couldn't find you. Amen. And you, you look, I'm talking about the way God sees things. You, you can't get almost to Chevrolet and punch in. Amen. <laughs> You can't go in there and punch in and don't work. You ain't gonna be there long. Sure. I don't care what the union say, they're gonna fire you. Yeah. Why? Because you're not doing what they pay you to do. If you're not out there telling somebody how good God is, you ain't got no payment coming. It's, we, we see this stuff, but it ain't poetry, man. Pick up your cross. Pick it up. Mm -hmm. Don't drag it. And then follow Christ. Christ is up there. We back here. If this person don't know Jesus, don't talk to him. Let him see Jesus in your heart. Not so much the words that come out of your mouth. Your mouth can lie, but your heart. Hey! Your heart Amen. cannot die. That's right. Now, now you women, you know, you, you pretty women, y'all, y'all know about that. Oh, baby, go on, slap the spit out of his mouth and go home. If I had a woman like you, oh, nah, nah, nah. I got rings on all the fingers that he stole from the punch. <laughs> Showing him, look at my, look at my hand. No, I need to see your heart. Because if God is not in you, mm -hmm. I don't want you. Amen. I got two amens and a grunt. <laughs> Suppose, now just let me meddle at some people that don't go to church here. And you see these two people here? They all look good. Yeah. But this is a saved person. And this is an unsaved person. And with the natural eye, they look the same. Mm -hmm. But this Bible said, don't be unevenly yoked with disbelievers. Mm -hmm. But he said, if you marry that disbeliever woman, how do you know that you won't save your husband? Mm -hmm. God give you a spirit of evangelism. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And he tell you to do something, you know it ain't. You just, well, nevertheless. Go watch them dish. He didn't want to hate <laughs> So you got one television, one remote. And he like cowboy, and you like those the other stuff. Oh. And you, you, oh. you, oh. this is life in religion. Amen. This is life at home. <laughs> and then it says, do that thing that pleased the other one. Yeah, no, but you always got the remote. I ain't never got. You, you arguing with God? <laughs> Is it better to watch a Bible cowboy movie? Or a movie about soldiers? It ain't about nothing. It's all plays. They make it believe. Yes, right. But though they want to see that thing is make believe, it's what they want to see. Mm -hmm. The scriptures say, please one another. Yes, right. yes, it 
is up the hill in the name. Jesus. Now, don't do this. Every time you come home from work, you cut that television on cowboy. I'm so sick of you. Don't you say that. <laughs> You're giving a devil a stick to beat you with. Because right, you're saying the thing that's not supposed to come out of a heart of a sanctified person. Right. I can't stand. I hate. Don't do that. Because mm -hmm. God so loved what? The world. Yes. Well, that's what he is if he ain't saved. Mm -hmm. Don't rebuke him. Mm -hmm. Look, look. Love him in spite of. In spite of. Even now, saints. Mm -hmm. I ain't good enough for God to love. I ain't good enough. But only by. Grace of by the grace of God. Only by. The grace of God. So when I witness to somebody, you say, you're a pastor, you you not look at him. Don't look at me. Look at the one that saved me. That's right. So when you go to witness to somebody, let self be slain. And let Jesus Hallelujah. be risen. That's right. Now you can kill what you say mm -hmm. when you say what you ain't going to say. You look. Don't look all this simple stuff. Let the life that I live, oh God said, speak for me. Amen. Not the lip that I got. Let the life that I live, let them see you loving them in spite of, that's Jesus doing that. That's it. You can't do that on your own. Amen. It's called grace. Yes. Yes. And it will draw tears from your eyes too. Yes. Amen. Well, you, you can get to heaven with tears. Can't get there with sin though. Amen. Amen. Did you know this heaven we talking about? It, that's when I'm down there in Memphis, you know. We get enough uh, moving for, for two people, for one person. And let the person with the big pay in, and then you get on the inside and he's into the movie. God got big eyes. <laughs> you can't hit hide yourself into glory. That's it. What does this scripture say? Only the pure. Hey! Only the pure in heart shall see God. They came into the church. Didn't we attend your service? Didn't we go to church? Didn't we go and witness in your name? Don't we pay our tithes? Jesus looked to him. Depart from me. I never knew you. Pay your tithe. Don't let me stop you from doing that. But the good things you do is not really a reflection of who you are. That's right. Here's a fight. Somebody got to take that last leg. Guess what his name was? It killed that man. Yes. Beat him. Jewish history said he was not recognizable. He didn't even look like a man when they got through beating him. And my little spirit tells me, James, he did it all for you. Yeah. He did it all. Yes, he did. Hey! Hey! He, hey! Hey! he did it all. Yes. For you and James. The only thing he wants you to do is not to die for him. The only thing he wants you to do is to live for him. Now I got about 20 minutes. I'm going to give it to the pastor, but I wanted to show you something. Listen, your lip is not a witness. Because your lip can lie. Mm -hmm. Let the life you live speak for you. That's right. You got to live right 
for someone to see God that made you right in you. And when you live right, it's the devil's job to try to damn you. Mm -hmm. That's one thing the devil can't get done. He can't damn a saint. How come? Mm -hmm. They got power. Mm -hmm. ha, ha. Hey! They got power. Mm -hmm. And then you see how I'm crying now? Mm -hmm. I'm crying because I'm telling you the truth. Now, now I don't want to joke at you, you know, but sometimes you, you, you bring a little water with you. You know, kind of sprinkle it in your eye to make me think you hear what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. 18 more minutes, and I'm gonna let the preacher come. Mm -hmm. Let this is not this ain't no this ain't no request. This is a commandment from Jesus. Let not your heart or your spirit be troubled. Mm -hmm. How are you gonna prevent that? Well, you believe in God. Jesus said, believe also in me. And another scripture said, I and my father are what? One. Mm -hmm. See, I'll tell you the truth. The devil brought me bad news this morning before I came to the pulpit. They just took your wife out of the rest home and took her to her in intensive care. And I'm supposed to react to that. I prayed last night for God to take care of her. What did she go there for? Dehydration. They just simply wouldn't give her enough to drink. So she's intensive care. My prayer work in intensive care area. I, well, maybe you don't work. But wherever there's a problem, God is the answer. Yeah. 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 And just yeah. come on here. Yeah. And see, see, and God said, cast all your care yeah. upon God. Look, look. He yes. be careful for you. Amen. Don't. When the devil bring you bad news, call him a lie. He can't bring no good news. Yeah. Yeah. I, I need to sing a song that I was talking about. I didn't know what you're talking about. Good news, the chariot is coming. What? Mm -hmm. I didn't know what a chariot was until I started watching the God Boy movies. I was sing with understanding. I would testify with understanding. I would pray with understanding. If you need a friend that stay with you until the end, there's only one. His name is what? Jesus. Jesus. That's the message. Amen. That's the message. Sometimes we have four, five preachers here. It's the same thing. That's if you got a problem, you can't solve it. Cast all your concerns on Jesus. He care for you. Now, once you get saved, tell the world that. Amen. God so loved the world, he gave his son Jesus to save the people out of the world and to the church. The idea is to get to the son with the word before Jesus comes with damnation. Amen. It's an urgent thing, saves now, it ain't so much what we say that will show how good God is. I'm going to keep on saying that. It ain't so much what comes out of our mouth. And the mystery about it, the thing that come out of our heart, nobody can see it, but they can feel it. That's right. I saw a movie last night, a woman, husband, paid big money for a pit bull. And then sent the pit bull to school so the pit bull won't come back by them. What? <laughs> the house was bigger than this church. And the pit bull got on his stomach and would crawl on his stomach and the hug until the white night. That's what I wanted him to do. A dog. But help me out in here. 
Spell the word dog backwards. G O D. Do you see how clever that devil is? <laughs> it's just a dog. Right. And let me tell you something a pit bull ain't supposed to be no pet. Right. He's bred to kill. The devil come but for two. He's a pit bull. Steal. Kill. Kill. Destroy. And destroy. But let me give you good news. There ain't no devil in here. Amen. Now let me brag myself a little to you because I'm here. Amen. Amen. And wherever I am, there ain't no devil there. Amen. You listen to me? Amen. Well, do we have the same God? Yes. So you can say, wherever well, I am, Jesus. there ain't no devil. Amen. And you said, glory to God. Amen. That's all this is for, to tell you what you've been quoting since you was in school, knee high to a duck. God. So loved the world. world that he gave his only yeah. begotten son. Look at the condition now. That whosoever yeah. shall believe on him, help me with it, should not perish, but have what? Yeah. Everlasting life. That's the Bible right there. Yeah. That's Genesis. That's Revelation. That's the whole book. You heard Jesus say, I come in the volume of the book. The whole book is written about me. Amen. So I saw a man I used to play with, you know, who I got sweet to say. And uh, you, you look, look at my lips and I tell you where he He was in a wheelchair and had a Bible this big. It ain't the size of the Bible. Amen. That save your soul. I got five minutes. And I want to repeat to you. This is what you need to say every day and every day and every night. If I ever am a soto law, if I ever need the Lord before. That's your life. Mm -hmm. Come on here. That's your life. There is no time that you don't need Jesus. Amen. 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 Yes. And when he called the breath out of you, boy, what a day. Somebody wrote a song, it won't be long. Uh -huh. I'll be leaving here. Twenty years as months now. Count the months of the day. You see, I'll be 86 in four months. There are people much younger than me. It's dying. That's right, amen. The problem with death, it can't tell no time. It don't know nothing about the clock. Let this be my letter, my house, I one of my last statements. Mm. Tell you about the St. John 3.16. And I'm going to turn it over to the preacher. St. John 3.16. He's got 29 minutes when I get through. St. John 3.16 For God so loved the world yes. that he gave yes. his only father son uh -huh. that whosoever believe in the Lord Jesus should not perish 
read it. But have what? Everlasting life. Everlasting life. So I began teaching everlasting life. And I'm going to end teaching everlasting life. Amen. Can you give God a pat? Can you pat him? trying to decide between Psalms 34 and Psalms 37. Let's turn your Bibles to Psalms 27. Psalms 27. Amen. Something we've been reading for, for years. Write this down for me. You've probably heard it before. Write this down. Our search for the truth is a quote for today. Our search for the truth is only useful If you're prepared to take action with what or who you find. Our search for the truth is only useful. The quote that I read says, our search for the truth is only useful if you plan to take action with what you find. But I wrote with who you find because we know who the truth is, right? John 17, 17, thy word is truth. But listen, if we don't plan on being better and doing better when we find the truth, what you searching for? Right? Our search for the truth is only useful if you're prepared to take action with what you find. Write this down. I am more than a conqueror. I am more than a conqueror. But listen at this. What difference does that statement make if you don't believe it? I am more than a conqueror. What difference does that statement make in your life if you don't believe it? We just run in our mouths. I think that most of our Christian lives, we probably spend running our mouths. We probably say amen most of the time because it's just what you put in that space. Right? We hear pastor say sometimes, I got one amen and one grunt. That's because where we are at that time is the truth for us. That's why we're not saying a. I am more than a conqueror. What difference does that make in your life if you do not? What difference does that statement make if you don't believe it? Write this down for me. Sometimes we can have everything you need to be happy and not be happy. We wrote, we, we talked about that last few weeks. Sometimes you can have everything you need to be happy and not be happy. I guess the question is, how is it possible to have a million dollars in the bank and be broke? I remember some years back when I first started doing the job that I have now, 
I wanted to take some days off, but I, I didn't take some hours off for a vacation that I wanted to take. Because I hadn't saved up, but I thought I didn't have enough time, vacation time. But what I come to find out is I had 160 hours of vacation time and did not know it. I had no idea. 160 hours, <laughs> that's a letter. Well, as soon as I found out I had that time, guess what? It was just a matter of time when I didn't have no more. But all the entire time, my time was building. When I started taking my time, I had 200 hours. I had four, five weeks of. But guess what? Four or five weeks later, I had nothing. How is it possible to have a million dollars in the bank and be broke? How is it possible to have everything I need to be happy and not be? How is it possible to have Jesus in my heart and not have a smile on my mind? How is it possible? Now, I'm not going to ask you to question your Christianity or your belief system because you're not smiling. That's not my place. But my place is to ask you to look in the mirror and ask yourself the question, why am I sad and depressed? Why is it that I have everything that is contained within God, which is contained within Jesus, which is in my heart? How is it possible? To have all that God is in me. And I'm sad. We said it a few weeks ago. Write this down. Oftentimes we must grow a little bit more in order to understand a little bit more. Oftentimes we must grow a little bit more in order to understand a little bit more. That sums that question up. You can have Jesus in your heart, a million dollars in the bank, all the vacation time that you could ever ask for. How many in here got five weeks of vacation time for this year? How, how, how many of y'all got five weeks of vacation time saved up for this year? How is it possible to have Jesus in your heart, a million dollars in the bank, vacation time stored up, your house loan paid, and not be happy? Can anybody tell me? How is it possible? Psalms 27, victory in spite of. Victory in spite of. Let's read this and see. What Psalms 27 says. Victory in spite of. Victory in spite of. Some people have found a way to have victory in spite of, but yet we can have everything and have no victory. How is it possible? Surely the people of God by now should have been able to find a way to smile. Sweet potato pie lady, you know how to smile? Uh, Brother Bobby, you know how to smile? Sister Brown, the two lovely folks next to her, y'all know how to smile? Pastor Willie, you know how to smile? Yes. Sister Miranda, Sister Pumpkin, what? Do you know how to smile in spite of? Yes. But check this out. 
Why is so much of our life a smile of in spite of? Why is there so much in spite of in our lives when we have everything to be happy? We have who we need to be happy. He's done what he's done to make us happy, to live prosperous, but yet Look at this, in Psalms 27. Victory in spite of. These first one, two, three words, I heard pastor talk about this some years ago. These first three words is a blank check. The Lord is. It's a blank check to go anywhere, do anything, see anything, eat anything, rise above it. Anything. Amen. That's a blank check. The Lord is. Now, if you want to make it personal, you've got to go to the first word. Fourth word. The Lord is what? My. That's what makes it personal. The Lord is my. You can stop right there. This is a blank check that is written to you. Look, look, look. Through faith first. Then by obedience. I know we, we talk about how bad sin is and how sin and keep it from going to heaven, but not sinning won't get you to heaven. Running from sin won't get you to heaven, but running to Jesus will. See, big old bad sin is only an issue for sinners. What gets me to heaven is not a lack of sin, but the presence of faith. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So my message is not about sin and avoiding sin. My message is about believing in Christ, believing in his word, loving him. Yes. Yes. Because see, when we put the cart in front of the horse, we ask sinners to act like saints. Yes. Well, I can't ask a sinner to act like a saint. I want the saints to just act like saints. And then the sinners will decide to be saints. I don't know about you. Am I the only one who, who, who really has had a problem in the past with, I can claim salvation, but I ain't always, huh? Because I can claim salvation and peace and, and righteousness, but I wonder if I'm the only one who's ever had a problem with this. You know what I do? I get up every morning and I put comics on it to keep it greased up because I know I don't want to cuss you off with chap lips. <laughs> oh, huh. Yeah, I know I'm the only one. I gotta keep them greased up. Because if you get in my way, guess what? That's the truth. Huh? It's the truth. Sweet potato pie, she's sweet potato pie, lady is sweet. But I'm gonna tell you something, I know what I'm looking at. That woman would take that cake. <laughs> that was a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago, she came into the back room and she didn't want to put her cane on the table, so she kept leaning it against the t uh, table back there. And the cane kept falling. And I'm thinking to myself, why, why won't she just take that cane and put it up on the table? And she said, well, I just saw it as probably being disrespectful for putting the cane up there. Because she knows she she don't know how so many folks she done pop up out of here with that cane. And she didn't. <laughs> So the Lord is my light. We said that's a blank check, right? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom 
shall I fear? I think it's Psalms 138 in the 8th verse. It says, the Lord will perfect those things that what? Concern you. The Lord is my light and the salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. That's that Psalms 46 and 1, right? He is my strength, right? Whom shall I be afraid? In Psalms 118, it'll be for 5 and 6, he says, The Lord is on my side. When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. And to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to what? Inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, in Psalms 46, 1, he says, the very present help in trouble. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of, secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me above a rock. He shall set me up upon a rock. And now shall my head be lifted above all mine enemies around about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Here's your Psalms 34, 1. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy upon me and answer me. This is Psalms 23 and 6. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me. When thou sayest, Seek ye my face, my heart say unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Why? Because thou hast been my help. Leave me, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, way O oh Lord, and lead me in a plain path. It's that path of righteousness in that Psalms 23 and 3, right? Teach me thy way, O oh Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies. For false witnesses are risen up against me, as such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land, in the land of the what? Look, look, look at what this, this next word is. This next word, wait, means a whole lot more than wait. It means also, not my will, but your will be done. That's what wait means. So when we don't wait, that means, Lord, I put my will ahead of your will. This is what I see fit to do, so this is what I'm going to do. Now, I ain't going to call you wrong because it is your life. But there's a better way. And that involves his will. And this is why weight is so important. 
It don't necessarily wait, wait mean don't wait and do nothing, but wait and continue to do what he told you to do what? Less. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage. Is that Isaiah 40 and 31? He says, wait upon the Lord. They shall renew their wings, renew their strength. The wings as angels, right? They shall run and not be weary. They shall... walk and not think. That's a Galatians 6 and 9. Don't be weary and well-doing for you shall reap what if you what? Faint not. I faint unless I believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. And he shall renew thy heart. Wait I say on the Lord. Well we can go to that Psalms 34. We can go to that Psalms 34. Look at the first verse. Look, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name. How? I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto me and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all of his troubles. The Lord, the angel of the Lord, encamp around them that fear him and delivereth them. Look, all taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. Oh, fear the Lord, you his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, you children, hearken unto me, and I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life and loveth many days, that he may seek good? Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are upon open and their cries. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, and not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. May God be blessed by the reading of his what? His word. May God be blessed by the reading of his word. Word. It's not so much of what we say that blesses the Lord. It's more what we read that really blesses God's word. We're going to take our offering this morning. Give God a hand. We're going to take our offering this morning. God is truly a good God. You want to see something amazing? Look in the mirror. When I see something amazing, I see Sister Brown, I see the two next to him, and Pastor Wheeler, and... Holy night, he's my rock, he's my rock, my rock, my sword, shield,
Praise the Lord. Praise Him. Praise Him. Morning, morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Psalm 61. Hear my cry, O God, attend unto my prayer. From the ends of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Mm. Thou hast been a shelter for me, and a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the covenant of thy wings, seal For thou, O God, hast heard my vows. Thou hast given me the heritage of those that fear thy name. Thou wilt prolong, thou wilt prolong the king's life and his years and his many generations. He shall abide before God forever. O prepare mercy and truth which may preserve him. So will I sing praises unto thy name forever, that I may daily be born thy vows. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, Pastor got one coming. Come on, give God praise for the word. Glory. Glory. Amen. Amen. Down to water the earth. 